Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom card with a custom envelope. Let's get into it. This video is going to be interesting for me because I am going to put a challenge on myself and make it to where I have to design using my iPad. Now, I've never done digital artwork. I've never drawn with the pencil that comes with the iPad or that I bought with the iPad. I've always wanted to do it for the purpose of helping my design workflow. Now, this may take a while for me to figure out, but I want to make a Christmas card or a holiday card that is based on using only the iPad for the design. So I do have Affinity Designer on my iPad as well as Procreate. So I can use either one of those. I have a template to start from for the card that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to go ahead, try to draw out a design and get something that I think looks okay for this purpose. And basically have this whole video be from going from my iPad through to the laser and making a card with a custom envelope and everything in between. This will involve a technique that I use on the machine that is special for scoring paper that I think is going to be really helpful, so be sure to stick around for that. But with that all in mind, let's get started. Now that I've got the design finished on the iPad, I went ahead and sent it over to my computer and I just made a couple of tweaks to the outline to make sure that it will cut instead of trying to engrave or anything else. So for this project, I'm going to be using cardstock. So this is about 80 pound paper. It's going to need to be thicker in order to hold up as a card and not be something like printer paper. So I'm going to go ahead, put this in the laser, try to cut out the card design as well as the scoring line. In my design, there's actually a red line going across the middle. I'm going to change the frequency when machining that line specifically on my laser. So not all lasers can do this, only the RF tube lasers. I'm going to tweak the frequency to be as minimal as possible so that it creates a dashed line effect and helps me to be able to fold the card over. So with that in mind, let me send it over to the laser and show you what it looks like.
Here's the card cut out on the laser. There is a scoring line down the middle. So you can see the dashed line here. So what I'm gonna do is just fold it along that scoring line. I also have a green one, so I'll do the same thing. And I'm going to line it just like this. I'm gonna take a glue stick. Now that the card is finished, I'm going to be making a custom envelope out of this other piece of green paper. I'm going to be using this stencil that I bought a few years ago called Create a Lope. So let me show you how it's done. Here's the final card and it fits in the envelope that I made. There is a little bit of trial and error to figure out what card size will fit in the envelope. But after that, it turns out great and you can make it any custom color you want, any design you want. It gives you a lot of freedom rather than just going to the store and buying some pre-made card. That's gonna do it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share this stuff along the way. But I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.